They told us it was a tumour, so they didn't say it was cancer. I've never seen anything so evil or so cruel occur so naturally and with no warning. Um, and to see, just to see it happening with your child is just, just so wrong. Nothing can prepare you for it, really. You know, watching your child die, it's one of the cruelest situations you can be in. Ruby was very loving, very affectionate, um, just very gentle, gentle girl. She was just a, a very normal 10-year-old child. And then suddenly, out of the blue, she's got this dreadful disease. You know that children do get cancer. You never, ever imagine it's going to happen to your child. We were given the choice there and then. The choice are that we can stay in the hospital, and Ruby dies in the hospital, or we can go to the children's hospice, or we can take her home. We wanted to look after ourselves, and we wanted us to be at home. You know, towards the end, she was getting a little bit, you know, why does cancer have to happen to me? You know, I hate cancer, she was saying. And I said, well, you know, I hate cancer too. <laughs> Even almost at the bitter end, you always expect some kind of miracle. I remember her being born, and I saw her draw a first breath, and I saw her draw a last breath as well. Burying a child is um, it's just not one of those things you're supposed to do, really does feel like she's just been taken, really, and for nothing, for no cause, no, no reason. That's the overriding feeling, it's just it wasn't fair. It's just a physical pain, and you hear people say how painful grief is, and it really just hurts. It's like a deep pit. I'm constantly teetering on the edge of it. If I kind of, you know, give in to the sort of self-pity, then I feel like I'm never going to get out of it. The fact that it is so painful and it is so hard just means that we love to an awful lot, and we still do. You know, we talk about Ruby all the time with them. We don't really want them to forget about Ruby. Jemima still looks up to Ruby as a big sister. She still wants to do the things that Ruby did. I sometimes get caught out by just seeing Ruby's friends doing everyday things, just doing what Ruby should be doing now. Don't ever assume it's not going to happen to you. Don't ever think that you're untouchable because it is indiscriminate and it just doesn't care. People will ask, you know, how do you get over it? How do you get through it? Well, you just don't. We were lucky to have Ruby in the first place and lucky to have the chance to do so many things with her. You can give £3 a month from your mobile phone by texting the word STAND to 7002. Monthly texts will be charged at £3 plus one standard rate text for first text only. UK Mobile 16 plus only. Please ask bill payers permission. For full terms, go to channel4.com slash terms. To donate online, go to channel4.com slash su2c. 100% of the money you give will go directly to funding vital research.